It's a new month and it's time to start building your monthly sales report again. But now you can automate a repetitive task like that and minimize your chances of creating errors simply by creating a macro. A macro is a recording of your clicks and mouse movements that reproduces your work automatically. By running the macro, you can reduce your work time. Let's say that every month you get raw customer data that you use to create a sales report. Creating a macro can save you time. Here's how. On the toolbar, click the View tab. Click the Macros Down arrow. And then click Record Macro. Because you can create multiple macros to run within a single workbook, you should give your macros unique names. Store the macro in your personal macro workbook. This will enable you to use the same macro in any workbook. Then click OK. Now every keystroke and mouse movement that you make is being recorded. All the data in this worksheet is currently crowded into column A. Let's reformat it. On the Data tab, in the Data Tools section, click Text to Columns to distribute the data into columns. When the dialog box appears, click Finish. Select the title and go to the Home tab where you can reformat your title. Adjust the column widths to match the length of the data by double-clicking between each column. When you're finished, stop recording the macro. On the View tab, click the Macros Down arrow and then click Stop Recording. Now let's run the macro to see how quick and easy it will be to format your sales report. Here's the raw data you may receive every month. To format the sales report with the macro you just created, go to View, click the Macros Down arrow, click View Macros, and select Form Macro. Then click Run. Now you have your reformatted sales report. To discover more ways Microsoft can help you better manage business and financials, contact your Microsoft Certified Partner.